Hi friends. Uh, do you keep a journal? Um, I have this little uh, notebook which I carry around uh, everywhere with me. And in it I take, I take notes for, for different things and sometimes I keep a journal. And I started that, I think when I was um, in my teens, I started keeping a journal sometimes um, when I was um, interested anyway in writing and I wrote um, stories and so on. And I kept a journal, which I would write in every night just to get some thoughts on paper and just to practice writing. Um, and I would just kind of cr chronicle um, my day, what, what was going on. And, um, and I did that for a little bit and then I stopped and I don't know if I found a lot of value in it except for the practice of writing. And, and then many years later, um, I started journaling. Um, and I was working on my emotional intelligence and I was journal journaling my emotions. And I found that to be a lot more effective, so um, as a kind of reflection tool. So um, anyway, now I just was thinking about it because I was thinking, what, do, what am I going to talk about on the vlog today? And um, I thought, okay, I'm just going to journal for a little bit and see what comes out. And so I started writing about what's going on. Um, I'm in San Francisco right now. I arrived last night. Uh, and just started writing about different things. And then the idea came to me. Hey, why not write about? Why not talk about journaling? Um, especially, so as a as a kind of idea generation process, like what I was using it for. If you're stuck with something, journaling can be a really useful uh, tool to get going again. Um, Josh Waitzkin from The Art of Learning recommends that um, at the end of every day, journal a little bit and um, write down a problem that you have, and you can write down what you've been thinking about it. And then he says, just sort of leave it half unsolved and then go to bed. And when you wake up, you may have a solution. Your unconscious mind may have solved it, may have a solution for you. And I've never tr really tried that, but I think that would be a, an effective method. Um, but for me, a lot of the times, just by writing it, the, the solution comes out already. Um, but of course, um, or, or sometimes by writing it, the solution comes later. Um, the, that's just your unconscious mind. It's given a little bit more time and space to process it um, when you when you consciously journal, um, because a lot of the time, when we are just thinking in our conscious mind about a problem, we're not f we're not kind of formulating it specifically enough for our unconscious mind really to do something with it. Um, but when we write it down, then it becomes very explicit, and 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 the problem becomes yeah kind of more more solvable. Um, yeah. I guess there's lots of different ways to journal. I know people who, who journal every day on what they've learned that day, which I think is, is, is cool. That's really effective. You know, what have I learned today? To figure out one thing that you've learned every day. Um, that really also makes your, kind of gets your brain ready for learning because you, every day you're thinking about, you know, even so unconsciously, but, but sometimes consciously as well. Um, you know, what can I learn from this situation so that I can journal about it later? Uh, and that's amazing because a lot of the time we have so many opportunities to learn something, but we don't because we're not consciously aware of the opportunity to learn. Um, another, another way to journal is to journal your gratitude. I've done, I've done this. Um, journal three things that you're grateful for. Um, that's also very effective to make your brain become more aware of positive things in your life. And um, if you do anything about positive psychology, you'll know that um, we're much more resourceful when we're when we're positive, when we're happy. So um, what greater boost our own happiness and therefore our success and our productivity is to journal about gratitude. That's really effective as well. And then of course, um, another way to journal is to, to free write, just to write whatever comes to mind and keep the pen on the paper as long as possible. I think that's, that's really effective, especially if you want to write in other mediums as well. It really helps you to, to, to get the pen flowing and, and start writing things. And uh, you, sometimes you write stupid things that aren't really important that you afterwards feel like they're uh, not worth writing down. But the point is to, to just to write whatever comes out and to block, uh, to, to undo the block that your conscious mind is putting on your ability to flow from your unconscious mind to the, to the words on paper. So that, that can be really effective. And that's what I use a lot, free writing. And um, yeah, I'm curious. Um, do you have a journal? Do you, what do you write? Um, let me know. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. All right, see you tomorrow.